All right, Halos, welcome back. Uh, we're doing another part in the episode two of uh, Burial at Sea DLC. So let's jump into it. Uh, we just figured out how to pick a lock in the previous part. And now we're just kind of exploring, um, trying to trying to be a little sneaky because we do have enemies nearby. No, says the damnable parasite. We must all crowd our way into the physician's office. Ryan the lion says, chew on that, you parasite. Alright, uh, I don't know if there's any enemies in here, so I do need to be a bit careful. Um, communism, okay. Interesting. Uh, empathy... Okay, for weak people. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I thought that was a body for a second. I was kind of spooked for a second. I ran the line, always shoot to kill. Is there anything in here that's useful? It doesn't seem like it. Alright, let's head over here. Let's be careful not to wake anyone. Or alert anyone. Pick up crossbow. Oh, okay. Are you sure you're ready to use that? No. It's a crossbow. Looks like the bolt delivers some kind of sleep agent. Probably fencyclidine or sodium thiopental. <laughs> they had all kinds of books in my tower. How do you think I always knew what ammo to toss you? No one. Ain't the same as being ready. Why don't you ask Comstock how ready I was? Your father's blood runs in your veins, but it doesn't have to be on your hands. And it's up to you. A stealthy, a stealthy approach is safer and more efficient. Sneak up on foes and perform a melee attack to knock them out. If you're spotted, get out of sight and keep quiet. Okay. Those Press left not mouse, mouse to fire the crossbow and knock out enemies from, from a distance. Okay, let's take this guy out. You're against a guy making an honest buck. I thought Rapture was open for business. Selfishness, says Peter the Parasite. Self-interest leached off until there was nothing left. Oh my gosh, okay. So hold the pick up hand cannon. Alright, to access all your weapons, hold F to bring up the weapon menu. Uh, okay. Let's get our ammo back. Sounds like there's an enemy over there, but let's check up here real quick if we can. E to intervent. <clears throat> what is up here? Oh, medical good, nice. Crossbow tranquilizer ammo that's useful as well. Yeah, definitely worth it. Alright, uh, I think that's all we can do right now. Oh, there's a ledge out here. Okay. Anything hidden? Oh, there's a sky hook here as well. I mean, we probably could use it. Looks like we can get on top of here. C while airborne to land quietly in a crouch. Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there's another skyhook over there. There's one over here as well. I didn't land quietly that time, but I think it'll be okay. 
don't think they are close enough to see. <clears throat> There's no free lunch. Alright, doesn't seem to be much here. Um, let's go ahead and attach over here and then come down to the bottom layer level. Lunch prices. I mean, that's pretty cheap, but, you know. Day is special, okay. Don't know, it sounds like there's an enemy near here somewhere. Sounds like there's an enemy over there. First, a law gets bribery. Then you'll want Enemies take more damage when they are unaware of your presence. Okay. What about through here? Cause there was some stuff right over in this direction. But I'm not sure if there's like anything important. Also, let's double check this side of the vent that I haven't checked yet. Just in case. No, nah, there's nothing here. Okay, just checking. Anything else in this room? Oh, hello. Paper dis discipline? Use of possession is advised. Okay, that's weird. Don't think we should use possession on children. Um, okay, I mean, we're definitely collecting some stuff, so that's good. What else do we have in here? Need to open, sure, why not? It's, it's fine. What was this over here? Oh, just some more ammo, it looks like. Okay. We can go ahead and reload this guy. Hourly rates, daycare. $1 for one child, $2 for two children, $5 for three or more. Interesting. Uh, parents, is your child becomes a model citizen with the Ryan the Lion Preparatory Academy? Okay. Magnate Andrew Ryan. Oh, purse. Nothing in it. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and open the door then. <laughs> Try to be secretive about it if we can. Look, Su Chong. That's the name you had me tell Atlas. Looks like this character, Su Chong, has taken over the Silverfin restaurant. That's... that's where the tear was that I used when I first came to Rapture looking for Comstock. Before this place was turned into a prison. But the first time you came to Rapture was in 1960, with Booker. When you drowned some... Over a year from now. Yeah, that... that that's right, I... When I could see all the doors, it, it all made sense, but now... It, now it's it's just a jumble. Elizabeth, you're bleeding. Now I know what it feels like. All right, if we're gonna find Su Chong, the Silverfin is the place to start. I know the way. 
Alright, uh, we have a film here. Let's check it out. Free men and free markets? Need to know theater. In the know. There has been a lot of idle talk from gadflies and naysayers following the nationalization of Fontaine Futuristics. I believe in free men and free markets. But I also believe in my city. And Frank Fontaine's purpose was nothing less than the destruction of Rapture. It was he who gave comfort to the laggards and layabouts. It was he who coddled the traps and vagabonds. Fontaine was poisoning the people of Rapture. But his venom wasn't made of arsenic or strychnine, no. It was concocted from something far deadlier. It was brewed from altruism. Now you know. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Uh, let's check the vending machine. So how much does the uh, good old... Okay, you can buy the tranquilizer ammo as well. It's useful. 15 for that, and then lockpicks are 18. Um, I probably should take buy some, to be honest. Uh, let's do one for now, just so we don't have none, and we'll see if we need it or not, I guess. <clears throat> Got a elevator here, but it looks like we need shock jockey, jockey, lift door. This is the way we're supposed to go, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, let's double check this place first. Cupid's arrow, if we can. Oh, we have another one here. Let's check this out then. Need to know theater. What's this one called? Sex without compromise. Are you in the know? Human reproduction is vitally important to society, but there is no reason that the act of copulation cannot be pleasurable as well. Remember these tips. Sex is egotistical. Without self-esteem, those participating in coitus are revealed to be fraudulent, hypocritical animals. Ego is indispensable in the bedroom. Negotiate with your mate. Intercourse can be mutually beneficial to both parties. Set out expectations with your partner beforehand, outlining the services you will provide one another, and hold them to their side of the deal. Never forget, oral contracts and handshake deals are for starry-eyed gigolos. Always get it in writing. <laughs> your pleasure is your business. Remember, you come first. Nobody's going to keep an eye on your pleasure except you. Don't be left high and dry. Armed with this knowledge, go forth now and enjoy sexual congress the rapture way. All right. Now you know. Now you know. Oh, what was that? Something just popped up. Shopping bag. Oh, yes, please. Thank you. I was wondering if there was anything back there. <laughs> Alright, um... I don't think there's really much anything else here that we need to check out, but... Can we do this? Lift door. <clears throat> I was here as well. Right after I came through, I needed, I needed something to wear that was a little more rapture appropriate. Hmm. Uh, nice. Oh, we got a bunch of lockpicks there. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Still wants us to go to the Silverfin, but let me check this place out first real quick. Make sure there's nothing that we need. It looks like an adult store of some sort. Um... <laughs> All right. Uh, anyways, Let's see if we can get anything that we can use. Oh, nice! Another lockpick. That's super, super useful. Oh, we got something else here. Audio diary. Okay, let's play this. Antonio Rodriguez. I have received your letter regarding our new line of peeping tom plasmids, and wish to respond thusly. Tough luck. This is Rapture, miss. What my customers do with my product is their business. If you are feeling 
uncomfortable, you are more than welcome to line the walls of your home in lead. If you wish, I could direct you to a reputable supplier. Alright, we got some more money here, that's always useful. Okay, looks like we got a lockpick on the other side. Uh, it says employees only, but it, we, it requires a lockpick, so let's go ahead and pick the lock, shall we? Alright, I think it looked like I missed it, but uh, it looks like it worked, so that's good. What's this? Not sure. Are there any enemies in here? I noticed there's a plasmid in here. Pick up Peeping Tom. Alright. What's this one? This Dress here's in sight. See through walls and sneak up on your phone. Evolve today. Okay. Oh. I told Sandra Cohen I'm always ready to cut. Splicers. I could use this plasmid and see them through the walls, or if worse comes to worse, turn completely invisible and get the drop on them. Uh, right mouse while standing still to see enemies through walls. Okay. Oh, there they are. Interesting. Hey, there you are. Oh, here it is. Audio diary. I get some work, but I want to get back to real Let's play it real quick. How many times have I asked Antonio for lockers with actual locks on them? I come back from lunch, and the ensemble I just bought is gone. Stolen. But here's what takes the cake. The thief left an outfit in exchange. At first, I was going to toss that thing. But then, I kind of fell in love with it. <laughs> it's an old-timey number with a corset, no less. It ain't exactly a nice fashion, but I'm a girl who can tell good craftsmanship when she sees it. And I'm planning a big combat. This is the new age. Yeah, there's the dress. Looks real nice. Uh, pick up money. Yes. Can't we just go out the way we came in? Or no? There's chocolate bot. We'd all be better off, us to wits, if we could leave well enough alone. Poor Dundee, poor Dundee, poor Dundee! <laughs> okay, there's a lady over here. Don't want her to see me. Alright, see if we can take her out quietly. There we go, nice. A little bit close there, but we got him. Alright, 
Uh, should be pretty safe in here now. Um, let's go ahead and head the way it wants us to go this time. Go to the Silverfin restaurant. Um, but I am actually going to wait to do that until the next part. So thank you guys for watching this one. But uh, we'll continue on in the next part at the Silverfin restaurant, it seems. Alright, catch you there. Peace.